What is up everybody, Scape211 here with some more Macarena. Um, and today I have, uh, I want to do a little bit more Zephyr play, uh, just because he's still pretty new to me. And I have a couple quests I can, I can do, so I'll, I'll play a little bit with him. Um, but I also wanted to talk about the Loot Rush. Now, uh, it's been one week through tournament. Um, so we have another week of Loot Rush. And I've gotten 37 keys, so I want to open a couple crates. But I also wanted to talk about this because, I mean, probably there's some of you who feel like you're not going to be able to do this or haven't been able to do this. And uh, if I look at my history um, for, what is it, the last bracket, we'll look at the last one. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of all over the map here. I did good the first, first few. I didn't even place first in all of them. Uh, and then I did bad in Heat 4 and Heat 6, and both of those, I didn't have time to play those days, so I actually ranked pretty low. I just barely got above, like, getting nothing in it, um, so it was only a few keys and one in Master where I ranked number one. So, I mean, I guess I'm just trying to show you that, like, even if you just do kind of decent, you can do pretty good in a, in a given, uh, master ranking or in a given like you know heat that you have for the week um and still get some decent keys so uh you know i hope that gives some of you hope depending on how you did this week as well as next week you still got another week to do stuff um and you know i mean you don't always have to push super hard and do the best on every single heat to be able to get uh, some good stuff. Now, if I had placed first in all of them, I would have enough keys already in this week to be able to already match the goal or meet the goal of 500 marks. Um, but I obviously didn't. So that's not a big deal to me. But um, that said, let's open a couple crates. All right. That's probably the, the why everybody's here. They want to see some of the crate openings. I'm going to do the 200 crate and then the 100 crate uh, in each of these. Now, from what I understand, you get one item. That will be one skin or uh, one uh, one of these A-Coin rewards. Um, they have, a, if you hit the uh, icon where it says Superior Fortune Crate up in the top, or Superior Fortune Vault, sorry, not crate, uh, you'll see the percentage of what you can get out of each of these things. Uh, a prototype, exotic, rare skin, and then your A-Coins. Um, so you get some decent, uh, options of what you can do in there, but, uh, yeah, let's, let's open a couple. Let's start out with the 100 crate. We'll do that one first, uh, and then we'll do the bigger crate, the, the 200 one. All right, so let's do it. Here we go. And that one was just credits. Woohoo. <laughs> like the, the lowest you can get, but Hey, look at that. I got those rewards for the marks, which is awesome. Uh, I mean, that's really what I care is the most about the A coins. Um, the, the credits in either instance is nice to have. You always end up using those, so not bad. Um, wish I got a skin, but we'll see how I do in this one. This one will definitely either be a skin or A coins. So let's do this fortune crate and let's see what we get. Ooh, Solar Neon for MD. That's a fun looking skin. I always like those really colorful ones like that. And we get our skin for Paragon. Nice. I don't use Paragon too often, but I'll definitely be putting on that skin. Um, and uh, yeah, the one for MD looks really cool. So we're gonna put that one on for sure. Yeah, that's a fun looking skin. I love the, the neon like bright colors like that. It looks really sweet. Um, and then the Paragon one, sure, why not? It looks better than the other stuff I have for it. It looks cooler, so we'll put that one on him as well. Um, I'll have to uh, play around with him sometime uh, and get some use out of that skin. Um, but I don't really have much for MD. He's not too high level. I actually was considering ranking him up once so that he ends up at energy level 8, which isn't bad. So I may do that, especially since this skin looks pretty cool. I kind of want to do that. Um, but maybe we'll do that another time. For now, I'm just gonna play, yeah, I'm just gonna play a, a ranked game, um, or I'm sorry, uh, just a capture point game and just for fun uh, to do some Zephyr work. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but my Panther, I got up to five stars, so I got the highest uh, level of 
energy on him that you can get 24 the highest you can get in the game as well um so i'll definitely play a little bit with him but uh i'm thinking that we'll just do a quick match here and i'll, I'll start out with kill shot then move over to zephyr to try and fulfill some stuff in in the quest uh and then after that yeah maybe i'll move on to um panther we'll see how that goes oh nice we got the new map Yeah, I don't think I've done a video yet where I played Three, with the new map. Two, it's pretty one, cool looking. Go. Um, I forgot the, I forgot how you say the other one, but there's one that they used to cycle in Mesa, Mesa Verde. Verde. I can say it right. I have no idea if I'm Holding saying it right. Uh, but that map was really what this one replaced. There's a lot of similarities between the two, which is why they probably did that. And since this one already looked like the green, green fields, green lands, there's another map called something like that. Um, since it looked very similar to that, I'm guessing they probably wanted to have uh, stuff that had variances between each of those. Um, so this one, of course, looks a lot different, which is pretty nice. Pretty cool to see the variation. And I'm not doing well with him. That's all right. Kill shot. Maybe we'll see if this guy get close. Use, uh, not quite close enough yet. Oh my goodness, I missed with all those shots, but that's all right, we're gonna do that. Oh, my teammate got him, cool. Yeah, that was a, I don't know how I missed all those shots. I don't know if it was delayed. Yeah, same thing there. Somehow I'm missing like all of those shots. What in the world? At least we got that kill in. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong for missing a lot of those shots, but that, that just happened a few different times. But, uh, this one should miss. But it didn't kill him. <laughs> yeah, uh, I realized after playing a little bit more that Zephyr's, um, uh, ability has the same range. Oh, that's nice. Right in the back, you're gonna be in trouble. Um, as guardian's ability however it goes all the way around him which is nice um and it still looks like it goes through walls i think at a time one of them went through walls and the others didn't but it looks like they've changed that um i don't know if there's a difference of the wall thickness or like anything that changes how that would happen um but yeah they they allow it to go through walls which is kind of nice um it feels pretty nice to me at least yeah there's no one really coming over this way so it's kind of made this this area a moot point, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna move in. Then I guess. Well, my concern though is that I, if I don't have any kind of coverage in the area, I'm gonna get stomped pretty easily since I'm not really uh, decked out with great stuff. Yeah, like that. I figure it was gonna happen where somebody was gonna take some cheap shots on me. I was a little bit um, exposed there. But we'll move on to uh, to Panther. That about Panther with um, with the long shot that it'll. You have two minutes remaining. Yeah, is, oops, I missed that one. That was bad, bad shot in my ball. Yeah, I, I hate fighting these guys who also use the long shot because when the computer does it, they're pretty unforgiving with it. Um, understandably so. They are the enemy, but they somehow are able to wow see like that it's yeah i feel like there's been delay in my fire and then when i actually see the fire of the enemy today I'm not sure it doesn't show that my uh connection is slow but it feels like it Sorry. Uh, i'm guessing i'm not really gonna get anything that'll help my gosh <laughs> I'm guessing I'm not going to get anything that's going to help my Zephyr quest. I, I didn't play too great here, but uh, you have won the match. Won the match. I might have to restart. Uh, my my connection seemed like it did that. That happens to me sometimes. My connection gets bad. I don't know if it happens to you guys, but uh, I feel like I'm dead on with my shots, and I'm not. And uh, bullets kind of catch me off guard um but hey it is what it is uh i i've been really happy with zephyr so far 
Um, his ability is super useful, super awesome. Uh, you just got to use it at the right time. You don't want to expose yourself too much, but especially in areas where it's like, you know, you have a lot of enemies coming at you at once. Um, his ability can be really good. And with this loadout with the missile racks, I did it for the quest, but packs of enemies, if he can stop them with his ability, uh, he can do a lot of damage to packs of enemies with that. But, um, you know, from my experience, he's been super great. Really love using him. Um, and uh, like I said, if you guys have loadouts you want to see, let me know. Uh, and yeah, for the loot rush, if you guys have done this, opened up some crates. If you guys got some awesome stuff, feel free to share. I'm, ho I'm sure that next week when we go through this, I'll get one more of those uh, 20 crates, the biggest crate. And uh, I'll probably do a video open to that just to show you what I get. But uh, my goal is, of course, to get that awesome shadow skin. Looks super good. All right. Hope you all are having a good week. Uh, if you have anything you want to see, you want me to do, um, you know, for uh, for certain play or certain Zephyr loadouts, please let me know. And we'll see you out there on the battlefield.